Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com and this is the NV3 from LG and Verizon. And in a nutshell, it's a great phone if the NV Touch is sold out at your local Verizon store. Uh, no, for real, it's a, it's a nice little messaging phone, but considering that it sells for $80 on contract right now through Verizon, and uh, the NV Touch is only $20 more at $100, uh, unless you really like the size of the NV3 as compared to the NV Touch, get a better shot there. Ugh, there we go. Or you really like that front mounted keyboard, get the NV Touch. And not because of the touch screen. For uh, two big reasons. One, the NV Touch has an 800 by 480 display, whereas the NV3 has a 320 by 240 display. So it just looks, the uh, NV Touch just looks nicer. I mean, no matter what you're doing, it just looks better. Uh, I'll load up a web page here. Uh, second reason is because the NV Touch has a real headphone jack. So if you do want to use it as a music player, uh, you can just, you know, get right into your headphones or plug it into your car stereo or home speakers or whatever. The uh, NV3 has a 2.5mm jack, so you'll have to get an adapter, which isn't that big of a deal, I guess, but just, you know, when you're buying something new, you may as well get the best thing, right? And for my money, again, just $20 difference through Verizon, maybe even less um, if you find it through a third-party retailer. Uh, you know, it's just a nicer phone. You do have on the NV Touch, you have uh, dual, this is almost turning into a dogfight, and I didn't mean it to be that way, but uh, you have dual 840 by 480 displays, and um, you know, a better camera, 3.2 megapixel autofocus with uh, the Schneider Krugnock lens versus 3.0 megapixel fixed focus. Both of them have a flash. You know, neither one's the best camera in the world, to be frank about it. But really, it just comes down to, you know, it's a full messaging phone, and uh, the keyboard on the Ambi Touch is a little bit bigger, and, you know, the 800 by 40 display, just a lot nicer. That being said, the NV3 itself is a nice little phone. It's, uh, you know, it's compact. It's a little bit nicer looking than the NV2. Uh, the NV2 looked a lot like a scientific calculator to me. The NV3, a uh, little bit nicer looking in the rounded D-pad on the outside. You can do a little bit more on the outside with the menu system. We'll get rid of that light there. There we go. The menu system, you know, a little bit more you can do from the outside. And uh, you can get into, uh, we'll show you a little bit of messaging here. So from the outside you can actually compose a message using the T9 style. And then you go into, uh, on the inside you've got the full QWERTY board. The QWERTY board on here is nice, the D-pad works well. You know, it's, it's big enough, but again, just for the money you step up to the NV Touch and everything's just a little bit nicer. And then you do get the touch screen on the outside, which uh, to me, you know, the touch screen itself isn't, you know, it works pretty well, but it's not that great. It's better than the, uh, the Voyager, for sure, but not on par with the new capacitive touch screens on some of the uh, smartphones that are out now. But mostly what this means is you can do more without opening the phone up on the NV Touch than you can on the NV3. I think I just decided this is actually a dogfight and not just a review of the NV3. Um, and because uh, that's just how it rolls sometimes, you know, you get into it and, and it changes. Also a big thing, speaking of web browsing, the NV3 is Evdu, the NV Touch is Evdu Reve, or some people like to call it EVDO Reve, so you're going to get higher data speeds on the NV Touch than on the NV3, which is big as well. Uh, again, you know, unless the, the size really bothers you, you can see the NV Touch is slightly larger than the NV3. Um, unless the size really bothers you, or you really want that external keypad and not a touchscreen keypad. Uh, also, you know, I was going to say get the NV Touch. Another reason to do so is that the menu system is just nicer on the NV Touch. You get the um, the LG menu system, which is just a little easier to read. Little, you know, more options takes advantage of the wide screen, the higher resolution. Whereas the NV3 has Verizon's kind of standard interface there. And uh, you know, I could go on and on, but it really, I just, you know, unless you really want to save the 20 bucks or you really, again, prefer the MV3 form factor. The MV3 is definitely a solid messaging phone. Personally, I'd say it's a no-brainer to get the MV Touch. Much more on these phones, all the new Verizon phones, all the new LG phones, everything else we can think of on phone.com. Uh, I'm not trying to cut it off early, I'm just saying, I'm gonna keep repeating myself. Uh, MV Touch is your winner, all right? No hard feelings, MV3. We'll see you next time.